What's going on YouTube? Retrospective Dave here, back at you with another video, and welcome to another episode of Guided Laces. For those of you who do not know what Guided Laces is, this is a new segment that I started on my channel to help you authenticate your kicks. So let's say if you were one of those people that didn't get a chance to buy this particular pair out of the store, and you have to go to a third party like eBay or uh, meet up with someone on Instagram to buy your shoes, this video will help you authenticate your kicks because I will go over all of the details from the box labels to the stamps, to the tongue tabs, um, the insoles, what's underneath the insole, the whole nine. So if this is information that you find useful, helpful to you, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and also leave a comment. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna address is the color of the boxes. Um, if you're not ordering the Strange Love Dunks that come in the special Strange Love box, then you will receive your shoes in one of two boxes, either the multicolor box or the teal box. So let's say you know a friend that ordered the uh, Strange Love Dunks and they came in this box and then you ordered yours and yours came in this box. Do not be alarmed. You didn't get finessed, at least not off the strength of the boxes. So just know that the shoes will come in one of two boxes. All right, folks, so this is what your box label should look like. You should have Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS. Your color code should read Bright Melon Gem Red. And you have a style code at the bottom, CT2552800 your QR code and your retail sticker of a hundred bucks. Shouts out to Recess Skate and Snow. Um, they're located in the Appalachian Mountains, Boone, North Carolina. I will leave all of their information in my description box, so definitely give them a shout. Um, check their website. They actually do take phone orders as well. So if you see something on the site or if you wanna give them a call to see what they have in stock, uh, please reach out to them because they do ship. All right, when you flip the box over on the back side, you will have five different variations of Nike branding. You will have some writing in the middle. And you will also have a black Nike sticker on the back. This is the only sticker that's on the back of the box. Everything else is a part of the box. Down at the bottom left corner, you will have what looks to be like a recycling symbol. That's also part of the box. And then you will also have writing on the right box made in Vietnam. Okay, so when you flip the box open, you will see the sneaker paper on the inside, and it does have that OG design on the sneaker paper. Keep in mind that I am reviewing the multicolored box version, so I don't know what the paper looks like on the teal box version. So for anyone that purchased the shoes from a retail store and you have a teal box, in the comment section, please let me know if your paper is plain or if it's the same design as the one you see on screen. On the inside of your box, you should have a stamp. It may not be the same exact stamp, but you, but you should have a stamp somewhere inside of your box along the lid. So this is 20121933. Um, I don't know, like I said, if the stamps are the same exact numbers. I'm pretty sure they're not though, but if they are, let me know in the comment section. But you should have a stamp in your box. Also, there is a quality control sticker that is also found inside of the box as well. So please double check your boxes to make sure you have your stamp and your quality control sticker. All right, now let's get into the shoe. So this is the Nike SB Dunk Low Strange Love. I love these shoes to death. These are one of my favorites. Definitely by far the best release of 2020 so far. Um, this is the right shoe. So if you're buying them brand new, you will have two bags with extra laces hanging. Um, if you look at the top, you have four, four lace holes. You have the one where the lace is going through and your bags should be attached to the top lace hole right above the one where the laces are going through. You will have two sets of laces, all white, fat lace, and you will have a set of flat laces that are multicolored of red, pink, and white. Also, if you're ordering your shoes from a third party website, definitely make sure that you pay attention to the stitching that's around the midsole. So the pink stitching is the same exact color as the translucent pink sole that you see here. It's kind of similar to this the suede. It may look like that on camera, but it's definitely not. This pink stitching is definitely a lot closer to the pink that you see here on the uh, outsole. On the tongue tab, you have your standard Nike SB branding. You just have Strange Love written across in blue, and you also have Strange Love branding on the lace tips as well. I also want to bring your attention to the back of the shoe, or, or actually the side of the shoe, 
uh, that has the embroidered skeleton face. So when you buy your shoes from a third party, make sure that your embroidery has teeth. Um, it's very small details there, which is pretty cool that they were able to get that in there, but look for teeth on your embroidered artwork. Also, your eyelids should be separated so they're not stitched together. They flap open. The only ones that don't do that are the ones at the top. Those are actually stitched to the shoe. But these are separate. As far as the velvet is concerned, it's it looks white depending on what angle the light hits it. But for the most part, it's pink. So like right here, you can tell that it's, it's pink. So if you come across a shoe that's completely white, please, uh, that's probably a red flag there. But um, the velvet is actually like a mixture of pink and white. So depending on the angle, it looks white or like a platinum. But then other angles, it kind of matches the suede here. So it's got a little bit of pink and white mixed in there as well as far as the back of the tongue tap goes there's nothing special going on there it's just a regular nike sb tongue tap these were made in vietnam and there's nothing underneath all right so this is what the tag looks like on the inside of the shoe you have your size hip up here at the uh, left corner you have your upc code and then you have the production dates here. Mine are August 7th, 2019 to December 4th, 2019. Uh, yours may be different, but they should be within the same time frame, just about from August to December. Um, I'll even take July to November, you know, just to be safe. But for the most part, they, these, these dates should be close together. Um, CT2552, that's the style code that you saw in the box and you have your QR code. So as far as the left and the right shoe goes, they are identical. There's nothing asymmetrical about them, like how they've been doing with other shoes. All of the swooshes are the same color. Tongue tabs and everything are the same color. The only difference between the two shoes are their insoles. So the left insole has the Strange Love logo with Strange Love going across, and it has a fallen leaf with Nike SB. The right insole has it looks to be like a cupid arrow going through a skateboard and on the bottom it reads soulmate all right so when you look at the footbed of the shoe you will have a red dot on each shoe that's what you should have if your shoes are authentic you will also have white and pink stitching or the excess stitching that's hanging out uh, mine aren't glued down or taped usually they are but this particular pair doesn't have that but just make sure that you have red i mean not red pink and white stitching on the inside of your shoes as well all right and last but not least i want to bring your attention to the outsole or the artwork on the outsole so these red and blue hearts on the bottom they are not going to be the same design on both shoes they're going to be assorted differently um and they're also at the top as well but I want you to pay close attention to the paint on those hearts. So it's kind of like a pearlized finish on them. So it's not flat, um, but it has like a pearlized effect to it. So depending on how the light hits it, you will be able to see it. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but it looks like a metallic red and a metallic blue paint that's um, on the hearts. So. Make sure you pay, pay close attention to that as well. It almost looks like candy in a sense, so like uh, hard candy, uh, how it has that glossy look to it. But yeah, that's it. All right, folks, that will wrap up today's episode of Guided Laces. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you are feeling this video, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think about these shoes in the comment section. I think this is the best shoe so far of 2020. Hands down, there's nothing else competing with it right now, in my opinion. But uh, if you all have a different opinion, please don't forget to leave that in the comment section. Until next time, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.